Our class started treaty number one and at first it made no sense at all. So we picked it up apart and translated it into a 21st century language. Treaty number one was signed on August 3rd, 1871 by the Queen's representative and Chippewa and Swampy Cree tribes of indigenous people within the borders of the treaty. A meeting with the Queen's representative was, was held at Lower Fort Gary to discuss certain matters that interest the Queen. The indigenous people have been notified and informed that the Queen wants to open up settlement and immigration and to make a treaty and arrangements so that there is peace and goodwill between the Queen and the indigenous people. They also have promised that every year the indigenous people will receive kindness and money from the Queen's government. The Commissioner will meet with the Lieutenant Governor to have a discussion about the treaty to share the land. Together, the Queen's Commissioner and the and Manitoba's Lieutenant Governor will negotiate with the newly identified Indigenous Chiefs. The Cree tribes of Indigenous people living in the Treaty 1 lands give the Queen and the settlers land by peacefully surrendering. The Queen agrees to lay aside and reserve a stretch of land for the use of only the Indigenous people. Most families of five can have 160 acres of land. If the settlers have to move to make the reserve lands, the Queen will deal with the settlers by exchanging the land for other land and give them some money for the land that they used to have. And the Queen is happy with the behavior of her people. She'll give three dollars to all indigenous men, women, and children in a community. In a community. When the people ask for a school, the Queen's government will agree to put a school on the reserve lands. Um, within the borders of Aboriginal Reserve, no booze, liquor shall be allowed. There are laws to protect the Queen's Aboriginal people of, from the evil influence of the use of booze. This shall be strictly enforced. The Queen's Commissioner will count and write down the names of all Indigenous people within the Treaty 1 lands. Every July, the Queen will pay $15 to each family of five people. Less money will be given to smaller families and more to larger families. Instead of giving money, the Queen can decide to give blankets, clothing, rope, or traps instead. The Chiefs do promise that the First Nations will keep the treaty between themselves and the Queen's white people and not to bother with the white people or their property. The Queen's Commissioner and the Indigenous Chiefs mentioned in this document signed this treaty at Lower Fort Gary on August 3, 1871.